Tonight, we're going to do something very unusual for a television show. Jonathan is just going to go through these hats at random with no preparation, no script, no rehearsal. I'll set my wrist alarm for four minutes, and when he, uh, when it rings, well, he'll have about one minute to finish up. Ladies and gentlemen, fasten your seat belts, because here comes Jonathan Winters. Sire, you must sell some of your jewels. The people are starving. I'm not kidding. That's a goodie. That's a keeper. <laughs> Would you sign this for my boy? You're a wonderful baseball player. Many of the fans love you. But we know that there's a girl in your life. <laughs> <laughs> I love a parade, don't you? Yes, I do. The sound of music, the beat of a drum. I love that, All too. right, you go to war. <laughs> It's not easy here on this bloody ship, is it, matey? Is it? It's not easy, sir. Of course it isn't. You want to go that route again? <laughs> I can load the cannon. That's the cannon right there. Yes, sir. See, I've been drinking too. I can't tell it. <laughs> These are all different from this afternoon. You bet they are. <laughs> I get bored with my own material, which is kind of good, because uh, long before the, uh, the audience gets bored, I get bored. I saw a very large lion, and uh, it uh, ate all the villagers. What is your name? Pardon? I, I say, what is your... <laughs> You're a cheat that gives you time to think. <laughs> I put together a little piece it's called hunting a scene through the eyes of a dog. I try to paint pictures, verbal pictures. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, it's cold. <laughs> Little paws on the ice. <laughs> well, open the, open the cage. I can't. I just have a wet paw here. Did you ever undress in front of a dog? People, you know, it's funny. A, a bird, uh, a bird somehow doesn't count, right? <laughs> or a cat. But a dog, they really stare. I, I was just come out of the shower, and here was my dog. Just... You know they can't talk, right? So the way they look at you, that. And wagged her little tail and went out and told her friends what she'd seen. I've fished, uh, I think, most of my life and never caught a big one. Oh, sorry, Roy. <laughs> but I put together two, two fish talking to each other. There's Fred and Alphonse. <laughs> Unusual for a bass, right? It's class, though, right? Classy bass. Two big bass have been in the lake. 25 years, never been caught. Well, Alphonse, take a look at him up there. Hmm? Guy's got new rods this year. <laughs> look at that clown cast. <laughs> How about that, huh? He's in a Hawaiian popper now. <laughs> Jerking it too fast. Read the directions. <laughs> nothing would take that, nothing. Not even a turtle. Toss it again. <laughs> Hooked up in a tree. Ah. <laughs> How about that? How about that? You know what I'd like to do is jump in the boat and then out again. Give that guy a coronary. <laughs> Roy, did you see that? That thing must have gone the biggest. Yeah, that's right. That thing must have gone that big. <laughs> down down there, the fire in the lake. I think we're down there. Brother, over here. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna let stuff all over me. I got eye. Oh, you dropped the string, and there goes the beer. Look how the bait box is gone. How about that, Alphonse? How about that? Hi there, Jonathan Winters here, and mighty happy to introduce America's sweetheart, that lovable Maud Frickert. <laughs> Watch it, clown, you blew out my hearing aid. That's how I got the, my first mister, <laughs> this fishnet, just... <laughs> 
I had an Aunt Lou who was a tremendous woman, uh, physically a big, very heavy set woman. <laughs> Come on out to home and see me. She was bedridden a great deal, but she always had a little brandy beside the bed. I was stoned! <laughs> Maud Frickard was kind of a, a and it still is kind of a salute to, she's not quite a dirty old lady, but very close. Oh, wild! My support hose just tingled. It isn't going to be easy. It isn't going to be easy. I see two of our scouts are riding up now. Do you have anything unusual to report, Lieutenant? <laughs> These arrows speak for themselves. Get that man a canteen of booze. What could you do if I gave you a stick? <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> I can just get my hands on it. <laughs> do something with the stick. What you do a routine with the stick? You can give him anything. Well, that was a pretty good cast, wasn't it, Bob? I think we're on to something this time. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, Margaret. Try to swim in. <laughs> Send in those big cats. <laughs> uh, send in the smaller ones. <laughs> I should like to play for you now an old tune that I played when I was in Vienna. It's called Und steil über Alze Kühne, nach Diene über Arne, which means along the river we go. <laughs> Imagine what I could do if I had the other part. Doctor, I'm not kidding. I seen them Beatles and this is one of their feelers. <laughs> Start the oven route. <laughs> the United Nations now recognizes the delegate from Nassau <laughs> Children, I want you to pay attention now. This is A5 square... Freddy, come here. I've been in the bloody stocks too long now. I'm sorry about it. Well, I just thought I'd drive that long ball down the fairway. Robin and I were out here belting a couple of tunes. <laughs> it's like one of those days down here at the Sands. <laughs> there in the old cat box. Uh, that's a nice one, just up there, just this side of the green. Well, every time I play a little golf, <laughs> I drive a little ball down the fairway. <laughs> Time now for the kill. <laughs> toro, Toro, aquí. Muere ese león, muere ese león. Toro, muere ese león. Muere ese león. No, no, se toro. Muere ese león. Don't shine that mirror in his eyes, lady. Let's go crazy. 
I miss. He didn't. Have your own show till next year. I wait my wand at the pair. <laughs> this is not a prepared comedian. There's nobody can do what Johnny Winters does. There isn't another Johnny Winters. Uh, Raj, I'm trying to get to you. <laughs> yeah, well, it's the aerial that uh, is bent. <laughs> yes, uh, we're all right here in Sector C. What a, a Roger Baker Apple Fox, Nebraska. <laughs> How's that scratch you, huh? We are gathered together. You're two wonderful people here. And your name? Margaret Louise. Louise. And you're? Joe. Wonderful. Do you mind, Joe? Turn your back. <laughs> you both be very happy. <laughs> you can get out now. Well, I think it's always scary. I mean... That whole word encompasses uh, taking chances, but I think that's what life is all about. A lot of you people have asked why my strange headdress. <laughs> well, don't ask anymore. <laughs> Hi, boys and girls. It's time for Jump Up and Down Room. And this is Little Billy Wallet. All right, Jesse. Make fun of the gun. Make fun of it. Sure, it's a little flat. Wait till you see the flat bullets fly out of it. get all the sun I can today. Listen, Annie, doggone you, I told you not to leave that kid out there on the beach so long. I'm the voice of spring. I bring you some little goodies from the park. Only his hairdresser knows for sure. Ah, right? oh, you devil. Where did well, you decide uh, to do this? This is something new. Well, well I've been to the park, and they... You've been on, you've been on Third oh, Avenue is where you've been, I think. Hey, you devil. You devil. It took me uh, 45 minutes to get that in Oh, I'm it. sorry, I'm sorry. In the park, we don't care. <laughs> You uh, under my shoes are hoofs. <laughs> Is that right? My legs are like that of a goat. <laughs> but I dress for the city folks. <laughs> but the birds and the bees and the animals and the fish and the creatures <laughs> all want to wish everybody a great big spring. What, what would you say? Uh, uh, what are you? <laughs> no, I mean, I can't... They know in the forest. 